Ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and boy do I have an absolute barnstormer for you today. A very quick one before we get into the video as well, I do want to say uh, a quick thank you for all the support over the past few weeks. Obviously over 6k subs now, video has been popping off. So it's 2023, if you do enjoy the content, if you like football videos, all that, uh, your things of that ilk, subscribe, it don't cost you anything. Do you know what I mean? Drop a like, drop a subscription, I don't know, what else do you want me to say? But anyway, thank you. For the support over the past few weeks especially um the channel's blown up so hopefully more of the same but anyway into today's video everybody thank you so much and it isn't stopping hundred thousand subscribers what the fuck? so i know exactly what you're thinking how does this sexy hunk of uh, a senior prefect that didn't even have a youtube channel until 18 months ago go from making some fifa rage clips in his room uh, to, you know, the likes of GTA races, FIFA packs, you name it. Uh, so, you know, a couple of hundred people a few months ago to now playing football in front of 60k people in person and over 3 million people watching online. All of that in the, what, in the space of, what, 9 to 12 months? It's unreal. Well, of course, it's not due to his good looks, I'll tell you that much. But, ah, sorry, that was a low blow. I'm sorry, Mr. Ginge. You're a good-looking fellow. Um, but who knows? There's a market for Ginger dad bods. Let, let, let's not reel that out. Um, but, yeah, Angry Ginge, a.k.a. Morgan Burtwistle, a.k.a. the Salford Cannon. Navarro, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he's a gamer whose humour and personality uh, while streaming uh, over on Twitch has flown. His viewing figures absolutely through the roof. He's tapped into that Twitch clip way of marketing himself, which is incredibly smart. Uh, obviously, an exaggerated response to a FIFA clip or a rage on GTA, and all of a sudden, they're being shared on TikTok uh, with thousands of people bringing in more eyes to his content on Twitch, which is one of the best ways to market yourself in this day and age, and he's zoned it into a T. Um, and that's how, obviously, I got brought him brought to my attention a couple of months ago how my mates all know about him and that's probably how you know about him too uh, scrolling through tiktok you see a couple of his reactions while he's streaming over on twitch get it all clipped up sent over on, uh, on on tiktok for views and all of a sudden that, that has a snowball effect on his channel so it's very smart on his behalf that's how he gained uh, a lot of traction over the past year or so especially uh, onto his twitch channel but yeah it just shows what uh, what powerful marketing can do but it's obviously not always been that easy. There's been months and months and months of grinding uh, to barely anyone watching, a couple of people here and there. Um, but yeah, you don't just get given this type of, uh, of platform in this day and age, do you? So he has grafted very hard um, to, to get to where he is. Um, but enough of that side of it, let's um, give you a bit more on the man himself. You joined OnlyFans the night you turned 18? I think so, yeah. And people Yes, you did, because I bought it. Yeah. Should they be in jail? Yeah. What? Sorry? They do. I have never done that. Never. Once. It was once. I've not done it again. Once. Once and I've not done it again. I promise. I promise I haven't. Promise. Once. 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 No, I'm joking. I haven't. So, uh, you've probably noticed, he has a Salford accent, same as myself. So, obviously, when I got uh, made aware of him, uh, started watching a few of his videos, I was intrigued about uh, his origin. So, you know, he's a villain, aren't you, could say. Where did he come from? How did he get to where he is now? So, we did a bit of digging um, into him as a person. Nothing weird, obviously. Come on, we're all adults here. Just things that are, you know, on uh, on YouTube, on Twitter, you name it. Just uh, already uh, the public information. Uh, and it turns out we actually have quite a lot in common. So, he grew up in Eccles, allegedly. Uh, same as myself. Uh, he went to Salford City Academy high school which i'll be honest i'll make no comment on because let's face it saint pat's clear but yeah moving on he plays five aside at the same place i do trafford trafford fives you know he's got that culture about him um so there's a lot in common between us two so seeing him send chris md back to jersey with a tackle that would make sean dash emotional he was i was like a, a father watching his son kick a ball for the first time it, that was it almost brought to tears it was beautiful but aside from all that it's, it just shows what a genuine lad he is uh, so i'll play the clip now of him being told um he's about to um be involved in the Cyber charity match and his reaction says it all so i'll play that for you now Chat, don't shut up you kids Aaron, for the 19 months mate I'm nervous now. Hello? Am I, am I on loudspeaker? Yeah, you're on loudspeaker, mate. Do you want me to take you off it or not? Yeah, it's alright. People can hear me. Um, okay. Are you, you're coming to the match on Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you want to be on the pitch instead? Shut up, you cad. <laughs> Shut up! You want, to play, you want to be on the sideman team outfield? Shut up! <laughs> are you serious? This is like, if this is a prank, Simon, that's, that's f***ing too far. That'd be a good prank, though. No, no, chill out. All right, serious or not? 
Dead ass. 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 Dead 